Hi, welcome to this segment of The Daily Spin brought to you by InlineSkates.net. I'm Steve, your host. This is Joe Herzog, our K2 skate expert, straight from K2 to tell us about uh, the K2 skates. Welcome, Joe. Thank you, Steve. And this is the K2 Fit 84 BOA. Now, we've already talked about the K2 Fit 84. This is the BOA version. But let's go through the boot to talk about the features that the 84 has before we get into the BOA. Yeah, quickly we've got, of course, our patented soft boot style technology. Um, to that, we made our instep power strap, which makes it quick and easy for you to seat your heel down in there when you're entering and exiting the boot. Yep, right there, like that. And then on top of that, we put a uh, ratchet style uh, buckle closure on our Stability Plus cuff. Okay. Now, down below, wheels, bearings, frame, what about those? Yeah, here we use our uh, die cast aluminum frame. Um, as we've talked about some of the lesser models, this gives you uh, enhanced stability, very lightweight, very strong. Um, definitely a big plus when you're talking about connecting you to the ground. Um, and to that, then we put an 84 millimeter size wheel with an IOQ7 bearing. So that's a really nice performance wheel, larger wheel than as found on less expensive skates. Good bearing, good frame, but the bow is the real difference on this skate, right? Yeah, absolutely. So um, what's so good about the bow? Yeah, BOA, if you're not familiar with it, simply is this knob that's up at the top of the tongue here. Um, it pops out or uh, pops in like that. And what that gives you the ability to do when it's popped out is loosen the uh, boot up. Yeah, can you take that strap off for us, yeah. Joe, so you can show how that opens up? Yeah, good. And this allows you to quickly and easily, instead of using laces, use a knob in which to put pressure down on the forefront of the boot. So you can see that pops open like that. You simply pop the knob in, turn it like that, and then the whole boot tightens up. Uh, very quickly and easily, no pressure points, um, super simple for you to do it. Um, actually gives a little bit of performance enhancement to the boot as well because it stiffens as well as uh, tightens. Right, because that's connected to a cable that is actually replaces the laces all the way down, right? Right, all the way from your toe, all the way up to the top. Right, so one of the things I think that, uh, there's a couple I think benefits on the BOA. One is it gives you really a consistent um, tightness all the way up where a lace tends to tighten at the top but not so much at the bottom. It's very difficult to get the uniformity in the, in the pressure but also because you can actually tighten it on the fly, right? Right, yeah, one hand, reach down, give it a couple of twists um, and of course it's not going to loosen up. It's a ratchet style knob so when you get to that particular um, uh, tightness point it's going to stay there. So this skate's often used for people that um, could be skating for some length of time or some longer distances. Um, would you ever want to tighten the skate uh, while you're skating? Sure, because as you skate along, of course, the boot, being a soft boot style material, is going to compact a little bit. So that, that may feel a little more generous to you. And then the flip of that is also po uh, possible. Maybe skating along, decide that you want your you know, loosening up, you want to lengthen the stride. You want a little numb and you want to <laughs> loosen them up a little bit. Right, so it just equates to something which is much easier for you to adjust. So you can fine tune on the, slide, on the fly without having to sit down and take your skates off or make adjustments. Exactly, like yeah. Yeah, I think that the, the BOA is a great invention because it's used in many other uh, pieces of sports equipment and it gives you a really nice, flexible, secure fit. And that's really the key to a, a good skate, isn't it, is having that, that tight, secure fit that you have that direct connection from the knee directly to the very bottom of the wheels, right? Yeah, and the BOA absolutely gives you the best um, configuration that way. So who's the customer that should be considering buying this skate? This is for your fitness, upper, um, uh, certainly high-end intermediate style skater. Somebody who wants to go out and uh, you know do skating. They're, they're, you know, they're making a purchase here. They've decided that um, they're going to uh, skate uh, often. You know, uh, they're, gonna, they're addressing it pretty seriously. All these things collectively um, are going to make a, a skating experience a better one, a really great one, a lot of fun. Um, so, uh, yeah, fitness. Performance, and this skate's got performance written all over it, but could a first-time skater buy a skate like this? Sure, yeah, you don't need to be afraid of the fact that it has all those performance enhancements on it. All those things are just gonna equate to a much smoother, more fun ride. So if you're a person who's uh, relatively fit, athletic, uh, you've never inline skated before, but you think you're gonna really wanna do it and, and get better at it and, and go long distances, this could also be a perfect skate for that person as well, right? Or looking to become one, yeah. exactly. Exactly, mm -hmm. okay, thank you, Joe. So, this has been the K2 Fit 84 BOA. This has been The Daily Spin, brought to you by InlineSkates.net.